Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm in my pajamas, but I thought I will record this video anyway. Um, I have a couple of hours left before I go on my night shift and I had, um, I think, two hours of sleep now. So I, I feel kind of fresh-ish, but yeah. And I was recording today a lot of content for you guys in the morning as well. So I want to share with you my story. Um, how I've got scammed first time in my life. My god, I could not believe, I could not believe that this has happened to me because I'm so careful with everything I purchase online and this is like a first time I was actually scammed. So it happened in the morning after my night shift. I don't know whether that was contributing for me to be blind kind of and my brain not working properly because it was 10 o'clock in the morning I remember. I came from my night shift and my partner, I can't remember whether it was his day off or he came from the night shift as well but both of us we were sitting on a couch. I was just like talking to my friend at the same time on WhatsApp and he was just scrolling to his um, I don't know, reels, whatever, he was just watching for fun. And then, like, I was talking to my friend and I said to her, hey, like, we have this big auditing coming in our hospital and I'm thinking to buy a few more leather pairs of, of shoes. I have one leather uh, pair of shoes at home. They're pretty cool, but they are my pair of shoes that I wear outside. They're really nice and my intention to buy it was not for the hospital. So I said to her, if I ever buy any leather shoes, because I hate them for the hospital, I love my feet to breathe. I like my feet to be in a soft kind of shape environment. <laughs> so I said to her, if I ever 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 buy leather shoes is gonna be Frankie's and um, I will buy the Frankie's model that is for the wider feet to give me that extra room that I need although like I have a just a standard normal foot and then um, she was like yeah just check Frankie's because they always have discounts and she said like I've bought mine with 40% off just go and check them out you never know maybe they have a discount right now and then she said maybe like do subscription so then you will receive the emails when they have to catch it and I'm like yeah that's a good idea so I went online and I typed in Google um, Frankie's you know buy and the first website came or one of the first ones and it said that they had like 80% off and I clicked on it and I've opened it you know and the link and the whole interfe interface of the website looks exactly as a Frankie's website but something that I have paid attention later is the link said Frankie4.currents au.store slash something I can't remember so I looked at it later and I thought to myself when I saw this discount of 80% whatever that they are probably an outlet or something like that in Kearns which is just up north from me and I thought okay because they didn't have enough of as well uh, models as Frankie usually have on their website so they have a couple of models only in black and um, they were all like priced down from 269.95 to 53.99 i'll put few screenshots here and everything and these are the two uh pairs that i have purchased you know and i was so happy about it like and i've done my purchase you know i went through everything i've paid for it you know and stuff and then i've sent the message to my friend and i said to her hey guess what um they have 80 percent off now and i just purchased two pair for myself they only had like a couple of um, styles in black and I have purchased this too and I sent her a screenshot and then and I gave her the link and then she was like oh before I gave her the link I said to her hey they have like 80% and stuff and then she was like get back to me and she said mm, that's strange it doesn't have any any sale in there she said like mine from my side it still shows that they all like full price and I'm like what do you mean and then I gave her the link and she looked at the link and she was like oh is this like a different shop or something and I said well it says cans there and then she was like mm, I don't know maybe it's like she thought it's outlet as well somewhere you know up north and she was like oh well oh cool and then she said I will look into it okay I was like cool fine and then like 
I've opened the website again and this is how it looked. So my phone after the purchase has been done completely blocked the website and it would not open anymore. Like at all. It would not open on my phone at all. And I'm like, fuck. Something has happened now that is not right. And my excitement was so high when I saw the price and everything because like my friend said to me later on that day when I told her what happened and everything, she said like, I've never seen personally Frank is doing more discount than 40%. That was the highest that I've seen, she said. And 80, that was just like unbelievable, you know? Anyway, like I'm saying to my partner, hey, I think I was scammed. And he was like, no way, what do you mean? And I told him what happened because like, I was literally silently doing all of that while he was playing on his phone. And then I showed him and he was like, babe, and he looked at Frankie's website and in like, you know, when you go like to terms and conditions and stuff and it says that, it says that they're, they don't have any partners or any separate outlets or anywhere. They are the only one retailer for Frankie's brand name. And I'm like, shoot. Okay. That was just like more proofs that I needed. Call the bank. I was with A and Z, called the bank, and I said to them, like, that was literally like half an hour after everything happened, and I said to them, I think I was scammed, and also the price that I've paid, so it was like $53.99 for both of them, so total $107.98, that was in American dollars, which I didn't pay attention to it as well. So to me, after all the transactions, what was taken from my bank was $123.54, I think it was, in Australian dollars. So I was like, I was so scared and pissed. I called the bank right away. I told them what happened. And I thought that I was expecting them to kind of like the freeze transaction because it was showing pending. <clears throat> so the money did not go left my account right away fully. It was still under pending state. So I thought that they will freeze the transaction, you know, but they haven't. Instead, they have put the dispute, okay? And she said the dispute might take from a month to two months. I'm like, wow, great. And then she said, um, she gave me the ID number, but she said I will also send it to you by SMS and by email. And then she said the team will probably will contact you at some point to present more evidence, okay? And I said, okay, that's fine. So we ended on that. Then. The week has passed. During this week, um, of course, I have received an email from this company. I think the same day or the day after, they showed me the ID of the purchase. And then I think the couple of days after or something like that, they sent me another email giving me a link to 17 track carrier company and they gave me a trackable number okay that trackable number was showing that the parcel is dispatched and it was in the transit to be shipped okay so that was showing like towards probably the end of that week but before that the number that they gave me it was not in a system send them email and i said to them the number that you gave me is not trackable it shows <clears throat> that it's not in the system yet and they were really replying actually they were really active replying like not right away i think it took them like a day every time to reply to me and they said to me just give it three to five business days it takes usually a while the item is prepping whatever and then it's got dispatched and then it should show in your system in the system of that 17 track company so towards the end of the week it started finally to show in that 17 track website and it said that it's been dispatched and it was in a transit waiting to leave China. Okay, then the next week, in the beginning of the next week, since all of this happened, the bank has uh, emailed me and they said, can you please present to us any proof of the amount how much you've spent for the purchase the website where you purchase it from the proof that you've tried to cancel the purchase as well and i can't remember something else as well so i did not try to cancel the purchase because i was working i was busy didn't even come in my head you know um the money by that time was already left my account so it wasn't no longer pending the money left they did not stop it or anything like that so i've sent these guys an email and said hey i so that was the next week i said hey um 
I don't feel safe about this purchase. Um, things don't look right. I can't open your website anymore. You know, the the number is not trackable properly. I've never heard of that 17 track company as well, whatever. I sent them an email to cancel, to try to cancel. And they said to me that um, we can't cancel it because now it already left China. So it's already shipping in the water. That's what they said. So they said we can't cancel it at this point. So I've screenshotted that and I've sent it to the bank all together. Then it's been nearly a month and on 21st bank has sent me a email saying that they have refunded me a temporarily funds of 20 of 123 dollars and 54 cents which is the amount of the purchase to my account uh while it's still uh investigation while investigation is still going and i'm like thinking to myself what do you mean temporarily money <laughs> like i've been clearly scared scammed my money have has have left my account so the scammer got my money okay you giving me some temporary funds you know and i'm the victim here you know why didn't you guys freeze the transaction from the very very beginning like i called you literally 30 minutes after everything has happened you had chance to freeze it instead of letting the money go to the scammer i don't know why they didn't do it anyway then i was checking my email and apparently the email came from this scammer company as well and they said to me that but it came through the 17 track it said that my purchase was delivered on 21st as well and i'm like oh okay you know and i was working like my shifts and stuff so like my life was pretty busy because every time i work like every day is very busy for me so i went outside my door and i thought okay maybe the carrier came came because on 21st i was working i think i was on a morning shift and i thought maybe they left the sleep you know in between my doors between the screen door and the actual door as usually carriers do and i thought okay carriers do and i thought maybe they left it and then you know they leave it for you usually and then you go and pick up from the nearest um, australia post office I went there, I've checked it, nothing is there. I'm standing in the garage, calling the Australia Post. I'm like, hey, I have uh, received a package according to the email that I have received from a company called 17 Track. And I said, look, I've never done it through them before. I don't know how it works. Do they like work with you guys? And he was like, yeah, they do. Can you give me the tracking number? And I will see if they left it in our office, maybe in like a lockup unit or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, sure. So I gave him my number and he was like looking and he said, yeah, it definitely says that the postage has been delivered and it says China. I said, is that all what it says? He said, yeah, just China. And then he said, oh, do you want to go to your mailbox um, while you're with me on the phone and have a look in there? I said, well, yeah, I can, but my mailbox is not that big. Like, nothing will fit in there. And if you're saying that it's received and they said uh, in a system that it's been left in a safe place, he said, I said, well where exactly i've checked everything in front of my door and my house in general he was like yeah just have a look in your mailbox and i'm like my mailbox is very small and he said you don't have that box box underneath your mailbox i said no i live in a complex of townhouses like the space underneath my mailbox is very small what you can fit inside is like a phone case postage something like that letters and things like that and i said and i'm expecting two pairs of shoes and he was like okay but I went while I was here on the phone, like I was talking and walking, I reached my mailbox, you know, and I opened it and I found a small parcel there, like a really small one. And it says from China. So <laughs> I'm like, I'm ripping the cover off and I found this box inside, which it says cart Cartier, Cartier, whatever. And inside the box, is a necklace okay it says stainless steel necklace 18k 18 karat and it has it has like a small um like a stone there i'll show <laughs> and i'm like i'm talking to the guy and i'm like saying yeah i've received something and it's a necklace and he was like oh that's good he says like that's good that you received the necklace i said no it's not good because 
I did not order necklace. I have ordered two pairs of shoes. And then he was like, oh, well, well, it says that it's been delivered. I said, okay, thank you. I think the guy hasn't understood that it's been a scam. So I said, okay, I'll just deal with it. And yeah, then I returned home and I started to Google, Google about the 17 track company, okay, and everything. And this is what I found. I'll put a screenshot for you here. So apparently people who got scammed like this, like me before, they have said that usually this company is used by scammers when people purchase anything from a scamming websites online. They actually send you things. They do send you things, okay? So the parcel will be going and you will see and it will be trackable eventually but you will not receive what you have paid for you're not going to receive your item okay so some people said that they have received things some people said that they haven't received anything at all in my case i have received a parcel but it wasn't what i needed it wasn't what i paid for like i don't need a necklace that is not even gold for $123.54, like I wanted my shoes, but it was a good lesson for me. The bank has released the money, so it's temporarily, as they said, now in my bank. I can see it, it's not a pending transaction or anything like that, like I can use this money and everything, but I've called them as well to check what means temporarily, what um, rights I have around this money, put it that way. And they said to me, well, you can use it, whatever, but it's temporarily because your investigation case is still going. It's under investigation, it's not finished. If it will be in your favor, then the money will be left with you. If not, then uh, apparently like they will take the money. But I don't think they will take the money because uh, I mean, like I was clearly scammed and I did not receive I, I did not receive what I have paid for, okay? Even like this necklace, it's not a worse of what I have paid. It doesn't worse what I have paid at all. So yeah, just guys, be careful. Be careful when you pay for something online. Do not do things like I've done when your brain is foggy after a night shift and you can't think clearly because obviously I wasn't thinking clearly and I was more on an exciting note than my logical proper thinking note. So yeah, just be careful. Um, I will need to find a way how to report this website and where to report it. I understand that there are heaps of websites out there who fool people and scam people and stuff like that and it's just on us how to be careful and how to protect ourselves but now i know that this website is a scammer website so i'll see how i can report it you know and maybe one website will be down i'm not sure but yeah i'll leave for you guys the link to the website in the description box below so you will be aware of uh, this website being a scammer you don't have to go to it you don't have to open it if you don't want to i'm not like asking you to open it i'm just gonna put it there for awareness for everyone um yeah so you guys would be careful in a like I should be careful as well but so far it's okay I mean like I've received my money back it's been nearly a month you know hopefully they will stay in my bank account forever and it will be in my favor but yeah like at the moment I'm happy but I'm not happy that this happened to me in the first place it was a big big lesson for me a big big lesson that I need to <laughs> take to the future and never do this mistake again or try not to so yeah, anyway, I thought I will share with you guys this experience of mine as a lesson as well. And uh, yeah, <laughs> if you have any comments, if anything happened to you like this, <laughs> just leave the comment below. Be free to leave your comment below if you want to share it with us. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. It looks kind of elegant. <laughs>